hey guys in this video i'll be showing you guys how to use crochet hair to make braided wig very very easy and simple the hair i will be using is from diva tress this is their 30 inches medium boss braids diva tress you guys know i love hair from diva tress and then this one is their 30 inches boss braids very long color 1b this video is very detailed and if you watch this video throughout i bet you, you will definitely learn new method and the, this tutorial video is no it's not hard very very easy very simple to follow and i just want to show you guys step by step and you can see the length of the boss braids one pack it comes in the 20 20 strands of uh, braids 20 yes and there is like two 10 10 mm? and there guys you can see it's crochet hair and very easy if you are to buy this hair to also do crochet very very nice and i will be using sewing thread and a needle sewing thread you can see normal sewing thread that you used to do weave to do sewing weave i will be using a drum cap drum cap spanning drum cap you can get drum cap online you can get drum cap in local beauty store and i will just go ahead use thread to pass through the needle and uh, i will make sure that i double the thread and then I will just start to sew to secure the braid to the dumb cap. And you guys know this hair is not meant for braid wig. It's just I am to show you guys new method. And then like you can also use a crochet hair to do braided wig. And then also if you want in the future time you want to make use of the hair just to remove the loose of the thread and you will still use the hair to do crochet braids and a very very nice hair to also do crochet braids and i will secure it many times as long as you are satisfied just secure it you can secure it 10 times 20 times if you want but i think i secured mine four or five times and then tie i will make sure to tie and it's tight and then if you are to sew in don't choke needle inside the stressing band that is inside dumb cap make sure to avoid that because you want the dumb cap to stretch if you ended up sewing like a choking needle on the stressing band inside the dumb cap i think it will not be nice and then mm, you can see guys the way i'm securing it i make sure to secure it tie and then cut the thread off I will show you guys like this video is step by step i will make sure beginners this video is for you and then uh, cut off the excess thread just still the same you need to like feel that the uh the braid is secured to the dumb cap before you will cut the thread because you will you will not love like you have wig on and your braids will be falling off that is why it's good to make sure the braids are secured to the dumb cap make sure the braids are secured to the dumb cap properly because you just want to avoid braids falling off from dumb cap in case you are outside and it's better to make sure to feel that ah yes it's nice now this braid is secured to dumb cap and then just secured and then tie as usual always give gap there is nothing wrong in coming back in filling the space later on if you like feel like the braids they are too scanty and then you can go back and fill but when you start make sure to give gap because you don't want to finish a uh, braided wig and your wig will be too full and i hate when wigs are heavy this wig is very very light and you guys will see at the end of this video i will also tell you guys you can see how scanty it looks i give gap make sure to give gap and then to hide the thread and to make sure the braids are secured to the dumb cap i will go ahead and just like a uh, burn off make of the excess thread make sure you have water beside you because me I am not sensitive with fire. Oh, oh my gosh. And then don't compare me. Don't use yourself to compare me. Always have water beside you. Dip your 
fingers inside the water and make up the excess thread using lighter. And then I will be using a closure. I will be using a closure. I have old closure. I have over bleached closure that I have at home. And then I will go ahead and make use of this closure because I really want to be done with this wig. Sewing the brace to the dome cap, it took only one and a half hour. Just imagine. Make sure the closure is flat, very, very flat. Very, very flat. Hmm? And then I will sew the closure round. I will sew it round and round. For some people that normally comment in my videos, they will say if they do closure wigs, the wig will be like the closure will not be flat. Just do this method I am doing. You can see the way I secured the the closure first with pins. Make sure the closure is well flat before sewing there are people that will just be having closure they will not secure the closure they will start sewing later on one side can be longer than one side that is why it's very nice to make sure that you see your closure you are well satisfied before you will sew your closure around use pins use pins if you don't have this kind of pins i use you can also use uh, sewing pins to just secured the closure make sure the closure is well flat the both sides they are equal and they're well flat the center well flat and then before you will start to sew the closure round because you don't want to have that bulkiness at the top of your closure it's always good for your closure to be flat and even if you are making a braided wig or you are doing a human hair wig always make sure your closure wear flat and also fronter stay the same fronter always make sure and now we just saw you know you can see now very very easy and if you use pins to secure your closure before sewing you will see how easy it is to sew round closure use a razor blade to cut off the thread secure you can see i will go ahead and also continue to to sew in the crochet hair to the down cap and here now i've used the uh, three and a half packs but i think i will end up using four packs the hair very very light oh my gosh 30 inches i was so surprised very very light don't worry if you are to get this hair i will tell you guys later on how many packs i use but just be watching <laughs> just filling up the space also doing the same method secured the crochet hair to the dome cap make sure the hair is secured to the dome cap properly using the thread tie and then i will make off bone of the excess thread and then if you are to use the hair in the future time is also good you can also make use of the hair to do crochet hair. and then for the closure i will be using normal braided hair extensions i just stretched the extensions and the, the tips is looking nice and then i will just go ahead and do normal boss braids and then i always love to like apply a little bit of water to to my closure because you know the hair is very very silky just apply a little bit of water and then it will be very easy to grip and then i will just start to do regular boss braids notice it's complicated it just regular boss braids video like this tutorial video very very easy very very easy i know you guys are following up now very very easy and then uh, because i can also make use of the hair later on if i want to just lose off the hair and use it to do crochet braids i can also do the same very very nice mm -hmm. don't forget that this hair is from divatress.com which all the details will be in the description box and then uh, i will twist the ends i will twist it just to secure i will make sure the same length so i will measure make sure all the braids are the same length you don't want the closure side to be shorter than the back side make sure you are having the same length and then uh, just do normal buzz braids nothing special normal buzz braids no my boss brace but don't skip this video just watch this video throughout and then i like close your wigs i like close your braided wigs because you don't need to use glue if you don't want i don't like glue 
I don't like to glue down my wigs. You guys know I love middle part. Oh my god, middle part is my favorite because it's very, very easy. Even if you are not to apply glue, you can just apply a little bit of uh, got to be glue gel. No, you know, got to be glue gel is like gel, is no re glue because some people are using re glue that is very harmful to your hair, which is not nice. And me, I love my hair so much. And uh, closure wig is very, very perfect for me. And then you can see I am done. You can see everything looking very nice. Looking nice. What are we doing now? The, the, the ones I braided with expression, I will go ahead and dip them inside hot water. Just to see the tip. It's very, very nice to also dip the ends in hot water. Not the crochet hair. Just the ones I braided the ones i used normal braiding hair i will just dip the ends inside hot water which i am showing you guys right now dip it inside hot water like this and then I just use the towel to dry and, and then i will trim a little bit trim out the fly away hairs and i will still dip the ends inside hot water last one and dry them off and then mm, and then just use the hot towel to press down the brace just for the fly away hairs to lay down like this you can see very easy tutorial very very easy which i will be telling you guys later on the hours you can see now the match and now we go ahead and cut off the SS dome cap. I will make sure not to cut the uh, SS dome cap too close to where I sewed, too close to where I secured the closure to the dome cap. And I cut off the SS dome cap gently, which is also very important so that it will lay flat. If I put it on, uh, this is it, and uh, this is how it looks. I will trim trim off the fly away hairs a little bit, which you guys can see right now. Trim, 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 fly away hairs, and then uh, this is me. I had this cornrows one month, <laughs> and I will be using Freedom Styles Magic Hair Growth Oil to just moisturize my scalp and my hair and everything which i will put the details in the description box in case you are interested to order freedom styles magic hair growth oil all the details will be in the description box make sure to moisturize your hair and your scalp before putting on a wig i will cut off the excess lace excess lace at the front which is also important. You guys can see. I need that not elastic band. If you want, you can also sew in an elastic band. But this one, I will be using pin to secure the two sides. You can see, I will use pins, bobby pins, to secure the wig round, which is also very nice, and your wig will be movable. And then, to just tie the wig you can see how easy it is. Just imagine it's a frontal wig. I will be applying glue, 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 glue. But this one is very easy. I just apply a little bit of got to be glue gel. The black one. Just use it to start the baby hairs. I will not be trimming the baby hairs because I was not close to, to scissors. And then I will just press it down a little bit. Just start the baby hairs like this make sure to trim your baby hair though because i remove some baby hairs from the closure and now we just add hair accessory add anyone you like that are beautiful hair accessories which diva dress they also have in their website and then this is the finished look very very easy guys what do you think just imagine how many hours i used in doing this week guys four hours four hours just imagine very very easy braided wig and if i am to do re braided wig for clients guys it can like take two days just imagine finishing a wig for four hours very simple and easy and then the wig very light i used four packs of the crochet hair and i used one pack of braided hair extension on the closure you hear me so making five packs like that just let me say so 
make it five packs and then this tutorial is very easy if you are to try this method don't forget to comment in the description box and say freedom stars i will try this method don't forget that this hair is from divatress.com and the details of this hair will be in the description box their website and everything will be in the description box don't forget to check them out and if you enjoyed this video like i said enjoyed a few minutes give a huge thumbs up share with friends and family thank you so so much for watching this video and i will see you guys in my next one bye